Hey guys, this is the Anon Mouse. This will be the first part of my new series looking at the errors in the Quran. Specifically, this sub-series will focus on scientific errors in the Quran. The first error we'll be looking at today is how the supposed omniscient creator of the universe somehow didn't know how little humans are made. This video is dedicated to the Muslims watching and all the non-Muslims, atheists, Christians, Hindus, Sikhs, and ex-Muslims who are watching who will use this video to help their Muslim friends see the truth. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. A quick summary of the overarching steps of embryology. First, the male sperm combines with a female egg and becomes one cell. The now fertilized egg divides until it becomes a clump of cells, and then it implants on the uterine wall. From there, it grows. Around three weeks, it starts looking like a little animal, and the organs start growing roughly in tandem. Although some organs mature faster than others, they all form roughly concurrently. Now let's compare that to what the Quran says. Quran, Surah 23, Ayah 14. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Quran, Surah 96, Ayah 2. Created man out of a mere clot of congealed blood. Sahih al-Bukhari, 454-430. Narrated Abdullah bin Masud. Allah's apostle, the true and truly inspired said, the matter of the creation of a human being is put together in the womb of the mother in 40 days, and then he becomes a clot of thick blood for a similar period, and then a piece of flesh for a similar period. The Quran and Hadiths depict that humans are formed from a clot of blood after an initial semen stage. No, in actual human development, there is no stage in embryonological development where humans are formed from a clot of blood. This description is likely influenced by an unscientific and primitive understanding of human reproduction based on the understandings and observations from early term miscarriages and women's menstruation cycles. While in modern times, some Muslims seek to use alternative meanings for the relevant word, the mere fact that it certainly can mean clotted blood, which by the way, is the unanimous interpretation in classical tafsirs or interpretations of the Quran made by prominent scholars in a passage about bi the biological process of formation of a baby is a, a major weakness in what should be a perfect description of how human beings are born from the person who created human beings. Even more interesting is how these sections of the Quran fail to mention the female egg at all. This is interesting as the egg has half the genetic information for the new cell and nearly all the cellular material, including every single my mitochondrion for the new cell. This isn't in line with what we know today, but is in line with theories about reproduction back in the 600s. As you can see, the narrations of Allah are not accurate to the truth, but are in accordance to misconceptions commonly found in ancient Arabia, although the errors only increase from here. Quran Surah 23, Ayah 14 says, Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Then of that clot, we made a lump. Then from that lump, bones. Then clothed the bones with flesh. Then we developed out of it another creature. So blessed be Allah, the best to create. The Quran explains that the bones of a human embryo are formed first and then covered up with flesh. This is inaccurate as the organs and flesh start forming at the same time as a cartilage begins to form in an actual human embryo. What is more interesting is that actually the nerves that make up your flesh form before the cartilage, which then becomes your bones. What is interesting is that the Quran does parallel the influential Greek physician Galen who said some 400 years earlier, and now the third period of gestation has come after nature has made outlines of all the organs and the substance of the semen is used up, the time has come for nature to articulate the organs precisely and to bring about all parts to completion. And thus it causes flesh to grow on and around all the bones. To recap, essentially the Quranic view is that sperm becomes a blood clot. That clot becomes a lump. That lump becomes a skeleton. And that skeleton becomes clothed in flesh. This is, as we have seen, wildly different than what actually happens in the real world. It is interesting how the claims of the Quran are not accurate to what we know now, but is in line with what ancient people thought of the world. 
Why is it that the Quran that is supposedly written by the all-knowing, timeless, omnipotent creator of the universe gets embryology completely wrong, but instead agrees with the misconceptions that were, preval that were prevalent in the age that it was written? Is it possible that the creator forgot all about what he himself supposedly created? Or is it more likely that the Quran was not made by God? but was rather made by a random guy in the desert listening to stories that other people told around him and compiled it as his own.